but obviously a disappointment. <laughs> and you feel so bad for those fans. Oh. We were down there early. They were so excited for this. And all the wheels came off in the end. It was going the right direction until it wasn't. So next game Saturday night. Yep. Still here in Target Center. So they can tie it up at two and make it a best of three. All right. Thanks, yeah. Jim. Well, you talk with any Timberwolves fan and they will tell you tonight was a long time coming. Yeah, it's been nearly two decades since the Timberwolves were really in the playoffs. 2004, they made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals where they lost to the Lakers. All right, a lot of fans hoping the uh, Timberwolves can go all the way this year. Maury Glover joins us now. Maury, a lot of excited Wolves fans at the beginning and during most of this game, but not so much at the end. Well, that's right. The excitement was clearly palpable tonight at the Target Center, but the fans say they were excited to see uh, NBA playoff basketball come back to downtown Minneapolis. I'm excited. We're going to get a win. After years being left out in the cold of the NBA playoffs, Minnesota Timberwolves fans are ready to howl. We haven't had good basketball in a while, so I'm just... I'm happy the Wolves are winning, the people are coming out, it's going to be loud. With the Target Center hosting only the Wolves' second home playoff game in 18 years, we gotta bring that energy right now. fans are happy to see the team return to its winning ways and people return to downtown Minneapolis. I think the city needs it. Um, it's good to see, you know, just coming out of COVID and everything too, just good to see people out and about. and you know, uh, uh, looking lively down here in Minneapolis once again. You know, as much as I think this is a very pretty pub, I think it's prettier when it's full. The owner of O'Donovan's Pub says the playoffs will bring triple the business we've had from a Timberwolves game a year or two ago. There was a little bit of this in 2018 when J uh, Jimmy Butler was here, but really it's been since Kevin Garnett and Sammy Cassell and uh, Latrell Sprewell back in 03 and 04 since we've really seen this hype in this buzz. I've been a season ticket holder for over 15 years, so we're due. Long overdue. But Morris Matthew hopes sharing this playoff moment with his son will bring the Wolves a win. That's the only reason I'm here. Otherwise, I'd be at home watching it on TV. <laughs> and unfortunately, it looks like he could have stayed home, but of course, get another chance to see the Wolves win a playoff game here at Target Center on Saturday night. Reporting live in downtown Minneapolis, Maury Glover. Box nine. I wish we had some happier fans.